everyone and all present here. We, the students of class 8th R, are extremely privileged to have this opportunity to address you all at this most important event of celebrating our annual function. The topic of our annual function is Isaac Newton, who is well known for his discoveries in optics and mathematics. It is his formulation of the three laws of motion, the basic principles of the modern physics for which he is well recognized. A day without prayer is a day without blessing. A life without prayer is a life without power. So close your eyes, join your eyes and get ready for Hindi prayer. So he could help out on farm. But Isaac wasn't interested in becoming a farmer. He was soon back in school. Newton attained his preliminary education from the King's School in Grantham. He enrolled himself as a Caesar at Trinity College, Cambridge in 1661. Once here, Isaac was sitting on his carter when an apple fell on his head. And in stroke of breathing inside, he suddenly came up with the theory of gravitation. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls subject towards each other. And think that has Mars also has gravity. Isaac spent two years of his studies in isolation at his home in Woosthrow, developing his theories on calculus, gravity and laws of motion. In 1687, he 
Britain published his most important work called The Philosophy of Naturalist, Principia Mathematica. In this work, he described the three laws of motion as well as the law of universal gravitation. Newton's three laws of motion were three fundamental laws of physics that laid the foundation for classical mechanics. The three laws of motion are First law of motion. An object continues to be in a state of rest or of uniform motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Second law of motion. The rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to the applied unbalanced force in the direction of the force. Third law of motion. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction and they act on two different bodies. Newton invented a whole new type of mathematics which is called calculus and it is used in advanced engineering and science. In 1668, Newton invented reflecting telescope. This type of telescope uses mirrors to reflect light and form an image. In 1704, Newton wrote a book on the reflection of light using a lamp and a prism. Newton experimented by running a white light through a prism to separate it into a rainbow of colors. He died on March 31st, 1727 in London, England at the age of 84. Rotary area is a fun and playful activity but also a key component in learning. It is a social space that develops speaking and listening skills. So let's start a role play on topics Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion and gravity. Good morning ma'am. Good morning students. Sit down. Thank you ma'am. Take out your science books today. We will learn about three laws of motion. Oh, three laws of motion. What are these? And who invented them? Very nice. I like, I like that you have excitement of learning new things. These laws describe the relationship between the motion of an object and forces acting on it. These were given by Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, we are excited to understand about these laws. Now, let's talk about the first law of motion. A body in motion stays in motion or a body at rest stays in rest until acted by an unbalanced force. Let's see an example here. Oh, we understood. Ma'am, may I give one more example? Yes. When the driver of a bus applies brakes suddenly, the lower part of the body comes to rest as the bus comes to the rest. But the upper part of the body continues to move forward due to energy of motion. As a result, a forward force is exerted on the body and we fall in the forward direction. Very nice. Ma'am, I also have one more example. Yes. A book lying on a table remains at rest as long as no night force acts on it. Very good. Now, let's talk about the second law of motion. The rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to the applied unbalanced force in the direction of the force. To make it more clear, let's have a look here. Oh, we oh, understood. Yes. Ma'am, may I give an example? Yes. Pushing a car and a truck with the same intensity, the car accelerates more than the truck. This is because the mass of the car is less than the mass of the truck. Very nice. Ma'am, may I give more example? Yes. Pushing an empty shopping cart is easier than pushing a loaded shopping cart. Very nice. Your examples are really good. Now, let's talk about the third law of motion. According to this law, in every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And this acts on two different bodies. Have a look here. Oh, we understood. Ma'am, can I give one more example? Yes, sure. During the rowing of a boat, the boatman pushes the water backward with the ox. According to the law, the water applies an equal and opposite reaction to the boat, which moves the boat forward. Very nice. Ma'am, may I give another example? Yes. Like jumping on a trampoline, a bouncing ball. Very good. Now I hope that you all have understood about the laws of motion. Yes ma'am, we understood. Now I want to tell you about one more thing. The law of universal gravitation. In our solar system, all the planets go around the sun by following the same way. We can say that there exists a force between the sun and the planets. From the above way, Newton concluded that not only does the earth attracts an apple and the moon, but also all the objects in the universe attracts each other. 
This force of attraction between objects is known as gravitational force. Let me give you an example. A ball thrown up in air to come down again. Have a look here. Oh, we understood. Ma'am, may I give some more examples? Yes. Like rainfall. Like we can't fly. Anything we drop goes down. Exactly. Now I hope that you all have understood about the laws of motion and gravitational force theory given by Sir Isaac Newton. Just found its thought and thought has found words. Now some students of the class are going to present a Hindi poem. Newton ki gatha. Now some students of the class are going to present an English poem based on laws of motion. Poem is three laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton was his name. Sir Isaac Newton was his name. Observing objects was his game. Observing objects was his game. He made three rules about what he saw. He made three rules about what he saw. When we see a motion, it's inspired by a law. When we see a motion, it's described by a law. The first law of motion is just a piece of cake. The first law of motion is just a piece of cake. To make an object move, all it needs a shape. To make an object move, all it needs a shape. The second law of motion is about a force. The second law of motion is about a force. Give it a show and object takes that course. Give it a show and object takes that course. The third law of motion is pure satisfaction. The third law of motion is pure satisfaction. For each force mode, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For each force mode, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Pushing and pulling is a vertical force. Pushing and pulling is a vertical force. Moving and shaking is a physical force. Moving and shaking is a physical force. Great development. Now the students of our class are going to end an English song. So now the students of the class are going to present a Hindi song.
Thank you. 
Oh, oh.